This team this year has just had so much grit and I have really appreciated playing with them and how they've never given up even though we've had so many things happen. And you know, this team is just so tight. You know, nothing phases us. You know, you can call us whatever you want. You can say this or that and this may happen and, and you know what, we're gonna come back and work hard the next day and I've really, really appreciated about the, that about this team. Being a Lobo has been just incredible, you know, it's just, it's so much bigger than yourself, you know, you're part of a team and a university and it's just allowed so many opportunities and so many awesome people to meet and it's just been incredible, so I'm very blessed. Basketball has been part of my life since I was very little, so this is kind of crazy that it's going to be ending, but it's taught me work ethic, dedication, teamwork, I mean the list goes on and on, it's just been a wonderful sport to be a part of and um, I'm just so thankful that I could share it with a, an amazing group of girls. Uh, you know, my experience with global basketball has been, uh, just like volleyball, a great experience. Um, even though I just joined the team in December, it's a great opportunity that I was able to meet the girls, um, interact with the coaches, and just have an experience that not very many people can, and I'm very thankful that I was able to do it. You know, the girls and the coaches were very welcoming. Um, they felt just like family. Um, you know, that's the best thing about being Lobo. It's, you know, you're always on a team that people are welcoming and make you feel right there. So it's like once once I got on the team, is I felt part of the family and felt like I was there for, you know, years. And so I was very thankful and very fortunate to have, you know, girls that I do on my team. The, my teammates, um, the friendship, the you know, the family that I've made throughout the past five years, will never be forgotten. Um, the coaching staff, you know, having a great opportunity for them to just teach me so much coming in as a freshman and learning so many um, fundamentals and skills. Also, um, the fans, I will never forget them. Um, 
We're truly luckily, luckily, lucky to have great fan base. Um, you know, they always had that heart and dedication. And without them, I think that we wouldn't have made it this far. And sus against the world.
Taylor. Taylor out top, Nikki Nelson for three. Yes, sir! Nelson with a... Unsure right there if the official had blown their whistle and called a foul on this shot right here. A terrific job, Portia Torrance, but makes a key block on that last play. All the blocks that New Mexico has had throughout this game, and the last one to seal the deal. And that's six, six blocks on the night for Portia Torrance. You watch the ball goes up. Not a terrific shot, but a pretty good look, and not bad position on the rebound. But Portia Torrance coming from behind and making a play. The Lobos are one game away from going to the Big Dance. And in between them and the Big Dance, a uh, rather big opponent, San Diego State. We're looking forward to it tomorrow afternoon. Tonight, Coach, what was the key in pulling this thing out? These guys are incredible. They've never wavered. Uh, you know, their crazy coach always gets on them. I love these kids to death. They're, they just, I mean, I don't know what to say. They're awesome. This Pitt West is incredible. Voices in the air, I hear them loud and clear, telling me to listen. Whispers in my ear, nothing can compare. I just want to listen. As my world turns, the heart beats, not only in my chest, but the heart in the street. So when they feel this, they feel me, but I can't feel nothing outside these great beats. I hear voices in the air.